Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jorg Sikkes, and in this video, I've got a question for you. What if you could change literally any habit or any problem within yourself and within others? What would you do with that power? Of course, for the better, right? <laughs> so last four days, I've spent my time basically going to the Leadership Academy, which is given by the Tony Robbins found, uh, organization. So Doc Robbins Research. And the main theme of the main subject was something that's called the seven master steps of lasting change. And in my words, sustainable change. So the seven master steps of sustainable change. Now, these are the steps Tony Robbins personally uses every time he gets on stage and helps people who have either who are either suicidal or um, no matter how severe the problem is, it could be a multiple personality disorder, it could be stuttering, it could be what, but those are the extreme cases, but it could also be used to stop smoking. So is that something you would like to learn then stick around because i'll lay out the outline of these seven master steps now by all means i don't take any credit for these steps these are um, created by tony robbins but i just want to pay them forward because they are so crucial for you for yourself but also to lead others that's why it's called leadership academy to lead others get to get a better life or a better business so let's get into it. The first step is basically to connect and understand and appreciate their or your own world. You can, do this, you can do this on three levels, on the body, the mind, and the spirit. One of the examples that you might have heard of is called rapport. So basically, if you have not, rapport is basically making connection with someone else or with yourself now you can do this with varieties of techniques like matching and mirroring the six human needs and sub modalities if you have no idea what that means don't worry i'll be talking about them in later videos but that's basically the first step so understand the second one is getting leverage so Leverage basically means that they have some they, that they have reason to move something. Another way to say it is what is the why? Why? Well, think of something that you want to change. Why must you change it? And you can ask people questions to because there are basically the two things that motivate any human being. And it's very simple. It's pain and pleasure. Now, if you want to create pain for someone not making the change in order to help them, all you have to do is ask questions. Questions like, hey, if you don't make this change, what will happen? How will life look like in a year? How will life look like in three years? How would life look like in five years if you don't change the change? Now, that's an example of a pain question. A pleasure question would be the way the other way around. Just asking like, if you did make the change, what would happen now? How much better will life be? What do you see? Where are you? And how would life look like in a year from now if you made the change? Right? So that's step two. And you can only do step two and get leverage if you have enough rapport with these people or with yourself. So what's next? So basically the third step is interrupting the pattern. So when the pattern happens and it will happen, they, uh, they or you run it, like for example, smoking is a good, easy example. What is something that triggers it? And then find out what that trigger is. And then when you find yourself or someone else running the pattern, all you have to do is interrupt it. And you can do this by distracting. An example would be to ask a really weird question like, um, 
hey, did you know that <laughs> that if you eat five, 50 cucumbers a day, you get less than your necessary calorie requirements? <laughs> or you could basically have them stand up and turn some circles around or splash some water on them. It doesn't really matter. It matters that it's unexpected. And the more outrageous it is, the better it works. You can compare it with basically ripping out a root from from the garden with roots and all like uh, weed and when that happens you have the opportunity to plant something new there if you don't something automatically swoops in because there's a vacuum now in that vacuum you can install a new pattern and we learned how to do this at the leadership academy when you interrupt the pattern, the next step becomes to define the problem in solvable terms. So that means what is it really? And what is it that, yeah, define it in solvable terms. So the questions you ask here are questions like, what do they really need? What do they want? What do you want? What is really preventing them? It's absolutely key that it becomes solvable so that it's not a permanent problem. Like if you define, if you, if you have something that stops you, uh, smoking or whatever it is, and you find out that it's because of a fear, well, you can overcome fear. So if you define it like it's just fear and that's fine, it's solvable. Now, step five is the fun one. Here you access empowering resources. It's basically where you use a triad. And what the triad is, is basically a pattern of focus, physiology, so how you move your body and how you use your body and language. Now, the question you ask here is just, what do you want instead of, of this behavior? Make it simple. That's something like just deep breaths or uh, every time you feel uh, the need for a cigarette, I keep coming back to the example just to make it simple. If you feel like you need a cigarette, just dr drink two glasses of water and take a deep breath. Because what if you do that instead of taking the cigarette? Because a lot of people just take cigarettes because they want to relax. That's step five. And the step six is to condition it. That's how you make it sustainable. You have to practice it all the time you have to do it over and over again until it sticks simple and then this last step is basically to test it and to reinforce it so build an um, environment that reinforces the behavior so you can ask things like what do you think of the old behavior and maybe try to trigger them so smoke in front of them so, and what is it going to mean? Have someone smoke in, in front of them, don't do it yourself. <laughs> or take out a, a, a cigarette and say like, hey, do you want this? What is it going to mean if you change this behavior? And how can you set up an empire, empowering environment for yourself? And that's it. That's the seven master steps. Now, it's good to know it in here but it's even better to know it by heart that it goes on automatic because if you do that, it will, there are some moments that you don't have the time to think about these things. When you really master this material, th things will start to happen. You become a leader when you use it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, that was it for now. If you leave, if you liked it, just leave a like and a comment. If you want to connect, just find me on my LinkedIn and let's do that. And last but not least, no matter what you do, just remember to give, break through and grow like bamboo. Oh, and enjoy the heck out of it too. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one and have a great day. Bye.